welcome to the project demonstration of road crossing robots so here the main purpose of this project is it will be useful for the physically challenged persons when they are uh, crossing the road so this leds will show the status for the uh, walkers green light and red light so when this red light getting switched on then the system will inform to the robot it can move forward and backward so if it is at the other end then it will move forward if it is at this signal section at uh, the its other side end that will move uh, move the back side so that uh, movement so when it's moving this ir sensors will use it to detect the obstacles and automatically the robot will stop uh, moving and this robot will uh, start moving whenever the person will sit on this chair then only the system will detect the person who was sit on that one and then it will start moving one and when it is green <coughs> then we will get the buzzer indication from this robot as it will inform to the person we are going to start now and when there is no buzzer there is no movement to the vehicle section so the communication between the signal section and the robot section is a rf transmitter and receiver when it is on then the system will inform to the receiver means the robot to you can start now then the system will keep on give the buzzer alerts so when the person hear the buzzer then he can sit on this uh, wheelchair then the robot start moving in the respective direction it will move for the respective time only so in between the time it's moving then if is there any yellow light gets switched on then the robot has a time to reach the respective section so after reaching that it will automatically stops and when the person get away from this robot and it will wait for another person and the same signal input from this signal section to the rf module so here there's two ir sensors to use it to detect the obstacles and the robot section getting power supply from the 12 volt 1 amp battery so here we are using 12 volt 1 amp battery which is rechargeable battery one so here uh, we are using the two microcontroller motherboards at the two sections at the signal section pic 16f72 the same robot section also pic 16f72 so we have interfaced these three leds at c5 c6 c7 and the rf module at the b0 pin of our microcontroller and the coming to the robot section two ir sensors front and back interfaced at the a0 and a1 for a0 and b0 and b1 for the rf receiver and next l293 d to control the robot movement in forward and backward movement that is c0 to c3 so let us see the demonstration before that let me explain you the battery charging status also so if you want to charge a battery we need to connect the at the b at this b slots and on the power supply to the transformer so then we can see the green light on so which will show the status of battery is charging so it will be fully charged in a duration of 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum after that automatically this charge circuit will block the current flow from the charger to the battery right so now let us see the demonstration right first on the power supply for the signal section right so initially it will on and off two times and after that the red light will get switched on after five seconds it will go to the green light and again after five seconds it will go to the yellow light so this will keep on moving the light status now so place the robot at around of two meters of distance and now on the robot so this is the main on off switch so below is the on above is the off right so as you can see that so whenever the green light on you can hear the buzzer so now yellow light no buzzer now let us see place some weight on the board right so i am placing some weight so when it's moving right and the person can get down from the vehicle again now if we place any weight on this so now it will move right it automatically stops means it will transport the persons from one side to another side if it is 
like any obstacle it acts, it will stop there only. Right. But it, it has to cover the distance, so it won't uh, like forget the distance, so it's keep on moving the distance only. Oh. So if the person is still there, then it will keep on moving for the other direction. Now let us, the person is sat on the system.